All right, all right, a new project. Today's project, right here. I think it's 1978 to 1987 Delco AM FM cassette deck player radio radio player. Anyways, you get the drift. It's an old school. Came out of an El Camino, an '86 El Camino, by the way. And I'm gonna refurbish it. All right. So first things first. Let's take off all the screws. And by the way, we're working on number. Yeah, you got it. Shit, there is some rust in here. A roach leg. God damn. Shout out to the roaches out here in the freaking sunshine state. They're freaking they're crazy. Other than that, it's not that bad. Top looks way better than what the bottom does, that's for sure. Any other things here? Da -da -da. Um, you know what? Let's take out these knobs and all that. Pull them out. Make sure you don't break them. Where are we at? Where are we at? Right here. I'm gonna polish those up as well. These as well. Everything. Everything you see is gonna be polished. Look at that. Loose as a goose. Slippery, this one. It's got a lot of uh, it's like a grease or something. Some kind of lubricant. Okay, see these knobs have that. That bottom part has that. So let me see. That goes there. That goes there. Just making sure nothing's broken on these. This should come right out. Yep, right there. I'm gonna clean out that whole face, fix the spring on it. Well, actually, the spring's working pretty good. It was getting caught in something, but. We'll fix that all up, nicey nice. take a while and I have to take off the top layer as well to get into the bottom and work my way that way. So I'm going to be here for a while. As you can see, I dug in there real deep. Top, bottom, in, out. Took as much rust out as possible. There's literally like minimal rust. Only little nicks. It's like little pits, basically. Yeah, this one's really rusty. Okay, go like that. Grab a microfiber cloth. And yeah, took everything out. Looks like you're gonna need a new uh new belt on here. Yeah. Yep, that's not bad. <clears throat> gotta, get, gotta get another belt. I'm seeing it's these caps up on over here. They look good. Yeah. 
negative, you know, white, but there's the illumination. Just resolder that wire. All right, let's check that again. Oh, what happened? There we go. I heard something earlier. Temporarily over there. All right, let's see if this works now. Okay. Yep. There we go. As you can see, she's on. Now let's see if I can catch something with my homemade antenna. Hold on. This ain't that great. Wow. Wow. Now it's time to remove this cassette deck away from all these wires. I'm going to really get into it and uh, rebuild it. Uh, let's see. Let's bend this here. Get these wires out of here. Like that. Ooh, I want to break that wire. Okay. As long as I can get this a little more freed up, I can work with. Like that, actually, let me see. Yeah, it's a little further out. Okay, let's see what I can do here. I'll just put something over this. And I have the perfect thing. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my little mat. First, can take that out of there, and I gotta order a new one. Yeah, I gotta take that out of there. Okay, so that's the motor. Since I have my power supply, I can put nine volts going into it to confirm whether it's working or not. Let me unplug this thing here real quick. Okay, so here is my um, power supply. See that? It's spinning. Look. Okay, so now I know it works. Ready? Oh, I need the ground. Third. And there's a tape light. Oh. I think it's playing, huh? She's spinning, but she ain't moving the uh, ribbon. So there we go. Oh, she's it's moving. Let me see if it plays. And close here. Let's see. All right, I got another problem here. This here was here, and this wheel is all corroded, chewed up. So now I found a part that's pretty close 
to its diameter, but still not exactly it. But uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to take this out. That's what I'm trying to do. Got a little pin holding in that wheel, and I'm gonna just rotate that wheel. I'm thinking I'm gonna take the wheel out and rotate it. And this is why. Oh, there's a washer on here as well. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, if I even can. No, I can't. See, the bottom part is broken on it. I'm going to have to find a wheel for this. Hmm. That's going to be cute. Right. This one's good right here. And I did find a belt. I got a, I got a belt for this. Oh yeah, really good shape. That'd be nice. So all I really need now is fix this. So when I have this out, there's a little bit of rust. I'm gonna clean that up too. So now I have to take out this other washer here, this uh, other spacer, so I can take that out. Also. Take out this bracket. One more screw here. And make sure this is all right. This is where your cassette rides. Nothing's broken. It's good. There's a little diode in there. Make sure that's nice. Yep. Beautiful. Now I can clean all this in here. Now, time to find something like this. Alright, check this out. Finally, I came up with a wheel and a rubber boot, which is called a tire. I customized this one. This was longer up here. Shaved it. This came off of an old, um, it's not a VCR, but a Beta, Betamax. Anyways, now I could put this in here and watch this. You can see that it works like that. See the wheel turn? Right in here. So, pretty excited about that. I think that will work. Now I'm just going to have to figure a way to have it stay in place here because it's still kind of high so I might have to shave off the bottom of this a little bit not sure what I'm going to do yeah and I got lucky with this uh, rubber boot it's actually for cars and it uh, worked pretty well see so that's where I'm at let me bun this all up hopefully it works all right, she is all set. I'm going to put her all back together. I have the back, sides. All I need is the top and the face. Here's how it's looking. All she needs is two bulbs. There goes right here, those blue bulbs. Other than that, everything works except for, I think it's uh, reverse. It seems like reverse is not going, but forward is going and it's playing. So let's show you that. Non copyrighted music. Green. Forward. See it running. I'll put reverse. See, it doesn't go anywhere.
I left the Rudolph song on. No copyright with that one. Anyways, that's it. Time to put it back together. Thanks for watching. Cheers. All right, big mess over here. Just put some thermal paste over there. Same as here. Now, I gotta put this back in here without ruining anything. And I think it goes like this. And then this goes over here. And then somehow, let's see, this is where shit can get really messy. Something down here I gotta do, if I remember correctly. Something like that. Come over here, and then this back here. Let's see, I think these wires are on my way. There we go. Something like that. And then push that in. Now, was it inside or was it outside? I say it was outside, yeah. And then here goes there, and I think I'm in place. Let me put on a screw here. I just clean these screws as well. And come on, there's two. Hopefully, you can see that. I don't think you can. Now, I'm just gonna make sure I'm lined up and I'm gonna tighten it. Give it a good. Nice tight squeeze. Yep, beautiful. You can see in here, here's the thermal paste oozing out. Beautiful. That's what we want. I'm just going to grab this q tip and just go like that real quick in here. Alright, so that whole section there in the front is nice and tight. Now this here is a mechanism to adjust the uh, tension on this. Or is that the dimmer? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we'll figure that out after. Okay. Click. That falls in. That comes out. That goes in. Okay. Okay, looking good there. I'm gonna lubricate it a little bit here and there where it's supposed to be. That's be a little bit of oil. Um, well, the right thing is the grease. Actually, you know what? I have the perfect grease for that. I'm gonna have to go before I put the two covers back on. I'm gonna. I'll do this actually. It's gonna. Want, I want to get all those other screws in there. I'm not gonna mess with the bias. I don't have to do any of that. I didn't mess around with any settings uh, inside. Thank God. There. This white wire goes that way. Yeah. Just clean it up a little bit over here. Okay. Gonna take some photos. That's what I need to do. Is take some photos before I put this back together. Uh. uh yeah, I'm gonna, before I put it back together, I need to make sure there's nothing here that I need to lubricate. Um, there is actually. Just give me a second, I gotta clean this up. Yeah. Not too much of this stuff. You know, we don't wanna put too much. Okay. One area at a time. Okay, I'm gonna focus on this side here. That looks good. Everything in here looks great. So I blow it out one last time so I can just that. There we go. See, that's what I wanted. Turn it over. completed as you saw in the shop best I can do
looks a lot better inside and out. Feels good to handle because you know it's clean. I can actually drop a piece of food on here and eat it comfortably. Eat it comfortably because I know for a fact that it is clean, if you know what I mean, even in between. Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming in, checking out this quick video. You guys and gals have a good one. Remember, refurbishing can be fun. On to the next one.